Monday, May 13th, just wrapped up turkey season. We got one more turkey hunt to share. And we're in full swing at planting food plots here at Proving Ground. Growing Deer TV is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Also by Reconics, Trophy Rock, Muddy Outdoors, Non-Typical Wildlife Solution, Eagle Seed, Nikon, Winchester, Redneck Hunting Blind, Dead Downwind, Record Rack, Antler Dirt, Lacrosse Footwear, Set Master, Flood Sport Arrows, and Prime Bows by G5. Although Memorial Day weekend is seen as a simple holiday or an extra day off for a lot of people, the Woods family certainly takes time to slow down and pay tribute to those men and women that made tremendous sacrifices for our nation's freedom so we can enjoy creation and have the freedom to hunt and plant food plots and have the democracy we enjoy here in America. Find your glove. We planted this field exactly seven days ago and we've already got germination, which is a little surprising to me given we've had multiple nights under 40 degrees. We're in lower field two, a relatively small food plot here at the Proving Grounds. And because it's small, deer consume most of the winter crop, wheat, turnips, whatever, so there's not much ground cover. As a result of that, the sun's striking the soil in most places. It's already evaporated out or dried out the moisture in the top inch or so. I have to dig down about an inch to see the dirt change colors. We're just up the road from lower field two to our largest food plot, crab apple field. It's obvious that crab apple is a bigger food plot and provided more forage than lower field two because there's so much left over. But even as it stands now, it's helping shade the soil and there's obviously soil moisture right at the top versus down an inch like in lower field two where the sun has evaporated the moisture out of that top inch of the food plot. We will no-till drill right through this field. The drill will leave marks in this forage so it's easy to see where we've been. Put the seeds right in here. This remaining forage will kind of help shade those seedlings and help us produce a great food plot crop. And the best way to conserve soil moisture is use a no-till drill. I realize no-till drills are an expensive piece of equipment, but you can do what I did in the early years and go to most NRCS offices throughout the Whitetails range and rent them for six to $10 an acre. It is a tremendous program that allows food plot farmers to use the same technique as production ag guys. Right off the bat this morning, we're like, well, if we come here, we'll come to the road. And then we got the road and we're like, eh, brought back too many bad memories right there. <laughs> hey, Grant. Hey, man. Uh, turkey down. Awesome. Yeah. Pretty good bird. I, he's probably got spurs close to an inch and a half. Wow. Yeah. He's We've been blessed with nice so many bird. great turkey hunts this year. We kind of held this one back, knowing we would show it at the wrap up of turkey season. <laughs> with Grant punching his tag on the opening morning, Brian and I headed to the woods to see if we couldn't punch a tag for ourselves. We decided to head to the south side of the property. We knew there were gonna be birds in the area and it wasn't long we knew we were in business. <laughs> He's responding to our calls. He flies down and we knew he was coming our way.
This bird closes the distance, comes into 50 yards, and decides to strut back and forth from 40 to 60 yards out. And you're probably thinking I'm crazy for not taking the shot. Well, it's because I'm using a 20 gauge. So my range was a little bit limited. After almost 30 minutes of strutting at 40 to 60 yards, he finally makes his way towards the decoy. Two mornings in a row. Golly, I didn't think that was ever going to happen. Watch that thing for 25 minutes at 50 yards. I'm using 20, so I had to limit my yardage. Oh, and it was killing me. Hanging out there at 50 yards. <laughs> strutted at 60 yards and gobbled and strutted and gobbled for almost 30 minutes and of course I'm using the 20 gauge so I'm just like nope now he's got to be 35 or closer finally he's down the hill to where I took the shot and he dropped so Congratulations, yep thank, thank you. you all right you ready to get out of here go work Once again, looking at the quality of that hunt and the quality of the gobbler. That big beard, the big spurs, tells me that all the habitat work we're doing, from preparing food plots to managing our native vegetation through timber thinning and prescribed fire, is creating a quality habitat for all species of wildlife here at the Proving Ground. No matter how you're planting your food plots, I hope you have an opportunity to get outside See the beauty of creation and take a moment and let the creator talk to you. Thanks for watching GrowingDeer.tv. Two birds in two mornings, and it was a great. You know, come down and strut, 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 and we just sit there and let it kind of do that for a while, and I say, Grant punching his tag on the opening morning. Brian and I